question. I want to ask you about the appropriate attitude for a devotee towards psychedelic drugs. My view is this, they're not necessary for devotees to use, and of course prohibited according to four regulations, but for materialists they can surely widen their scope of reality. Usually some truths are revealed to people when taking these substances, such as a differentiation of their consciousness from their material ego, a feeling of connection to nature and disconnection to industrial modern technological things. However, it remains that although bringing the user beyond gross matter, they don't touch the transcendental realm and therefore can have inherent value. Still, it is common for devotees to have taken psychedelics before they found Christian consciousness. For me, I can recognize that my interest and experience with them played a significant role in leading me to Krishna consciousness. Thus my inclination is that they have some value. Uh, make it short. Okay, so basically, um, how should a devotee relate to this, um, to this matter? Drugs or no drugs, are they helpful? in Krishna consciousness, or bringing someone to Krishna consciousness, she says, they're not helpful in Krishna consciousness. Drugs are not helpful in Krishna consciousness. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, in regards to uh, drugs bringing someone to, to, to Krishna consciousness, uh, drugs or no drugs, uh, whatever you might, whatever the thing might be, drugs, uh, any kind of experience, um, may take a person closer to Krishna consciousness or away from Krishna consciousness. Um, Srila Prabhupada gives example of a calamity. When calamity happens, uh, and you can observe this yourself, when a calamity happens, it brings some people closer to God and pushes some people away from God. Uh, great calamity happens and one set of people say, um, Oh my goodness, uh, there's no shelter in this world. This world's such an unstable place. And they wholeheartedly take shelter of spirituality and Christian consciousness and God. While other people, a calamity happens and they say, where is God in it all? Why did God allow this? Uh, uh, there is no God. <laughs> and they go away from, uh, from uh, spirituality, religion, God. Uh, <clears throat> So what's the determining factor in it all? The determining factor, Srila Prabhupada says, is piety. Now, piety is relatively a, a Christian term, so may not quite cut it, um, but uh, sukriti, um, uh, well, how to, well, we'll just stay with the term piety, uh, requires some piety. Um, so the, when something, whatever the incident that takes place, um, according to the person's consciousness, it will bring person closer to uh, Krishna consciousness or push it away from, from Krishna consciousness. Um, um, so if the person is pious, it will bring the person closer, closer to, to Krishna consciousness. Um, specifically, this piety has to be Bhaktion Mukhi Sukriti. Bhakti on Mukhi Sukriti. Because think about this world. We're constantly interacting with this world. Uh, why just drugs? I mean, we're interacting with everything. We're interacting with air, with water, with calamities, with, with beautiful things, with ugly things, with pleasant things, unpleasant things. And we interpret them in varieties of ways. And depending on our interpretation of these things and the experiences that these things uh, take us through, we get closer or farther away from Krishna consciousness. So the determining factor again is Bhakti on Mukhi Sukriti. Sukriti means, literally means well done deed. And, and, and it refers to this divine, spiritual, ultimately some form of, uh, some form of Krishna consciousness. So this piety is, is the most primitive beginning form um, of Krishna consciousness, some kind of goodness. And specifically, Bhakti on Mukhi Sukriti. Um, um, that the Sukriti or the inclination is, is already Krishna conscious. 
So, uh, what brings someone to Krishna consciousness? Um, <laughs> it's not drugs. Uh, it's neither no drugs. What brings someone to Krishna consciousness is Krishna consciousness itself. Uh, so, to, re to recommend someone <laughs> to take drugs or not to take drugs is absolutely irrelevant. Only Krishna consciousness leads to Krishna consciousness that's stated also in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Bhaktiya sanjataya bhaktiya. That bhakti generates bhakti. The Krishna consciousness generates Krishna consciousness. Um, so to help someone interpret their experiences in a Krishna conscious manner, intellectually, emotionally, and in other ways, is to actually help someone uh, uh, bring closer to spirituality, to, to Krishna consciousness. Okay, hope it helps. Hare Krishna.